Former New York City hotel worker claims illegal migrant kids are being allowed to drink and do drugs. Yeah, guys, this is at the row. He says that there's a lot of drinking and drugging going on that and that kids are often involved. This is a recipe for disaster. Yeah, they're banging in the freaking stairways, by the way. Yeah. New York Post riots. Migrant kids in New York City left alone to drink, do drugs, uh, says ex-Midtown hotel worker. Uh, once trendy, a once trendy Manhattan hotel housing migrants has continued to descend into a free for all of lawlessness and violence where kids are regularly spotted intoxicated migrants and a former employee said one migrant father currently staying at the luxurious row NYC in Midtown described the 1300 room hotel on 8th Avenue, which was converted last year to help house the influx of migrants as a madhouse after dark. Come around 9 or 10 p.m. It's crazy. People are drinking Argentine and smoking weed outside all night since we can't bring that in. The police have come and pushed them out some nights. So now they gather at the corners. Nearby stores and restaurants also complained about the pandemonium occurring across the street. In recent months has hampered their tourist reliant businesses. Yeah. Uh, you're dealing with five figures worth of uh, migrants. Try dealing with uh, seven figures like Texas is. Yeah. In your face, guys. Keep sending them, Abbott. Yeah. Fox News writes, former employee reveals shocking conditions in New York City Hotel. Free for all. In quotes, he says, every day we find about 10 kids alone in their hotel rooms, either drinking or doing drugs. Weapons will be in the room, but we're not allowed to go in there. We're not allowed to take anything from them. It's basically a free for all. Just a lot of people who are very there. What? Just a lot of people who are very there. They don't appreciate what they have. And I read that word forward. And they come here with the mindset of the way they live back in the home country. And they think there's no rules and no laws to be followed here. Yeah, and they also don't work. And because they don't work, they don't, they don't have to buy their own things. We give it to them. And when you get free stuff, you don't take care of it. Incidents involving kids are also common occurrences like the young girl found intoxicated in a hotel room. He said hotel staff has little... What? Again, again with this bad, awful grammar from Fox. Word for word. He said hotel staff has little they can do to help, much less to identify the kids or their parents. You're missing uh, a comma. No, you're not. It's just, it's just a poorly written sentence. What the heck's wrong with these guys? Anyways, why is no one watching these kids? It's not as if the parents are busy working. Fuck this sentence right here. I'm still stuck on that. He said hotel staff was has little they can do. Yeah, that's that's just a, a, a poorly written sentence. 